hello uh, welcome to the second video of uh, verilog programming the last class we learn about how to execute program by using not verilog for the basic gate not so today we have to learn uh, using uh, verilog programming uh, with the data flow modeling how to execute program and gate in xilinx simulation with the verilog code so the and gate we know the truth table we have a and b input because we are talk about basic gates two input with one output the a is 0 b is 0 the output is 0 and a is 0 b is 1 our output is 0 our uh, a is 1 b is 0 output is 0 that means uh, a only our uh, output is high both the inputs are high then only we we call it as a and gate truth table see for if for doing for this truth table to realize by using verilog code i have to write a programming part uh, we already discussed in the last class i have to use a keyword module the module i have to start again it will end with end module the followed by a name of the program name of the program you can give anything i gave as an and underscore gate underscore you can give anything that is not a keyword followed by i have to give the number of inputs and output that is the input port and output port i have to define it say i am taking two input a is input b is input y will be act as a output then end with the semicolon then i need to define uh, which uh, will be variable be act as input port and which will be act as a output port say this uh, i am taking a uh, input is a keyword i am defining a is an input b is an input and output y will be acting as an output port then i need to write the behavioral uh, the data flow modeling code uh, for this uh, operation of the and gate i have to use the keyword assign followed by y variable output equals to a and operation with b a and b had to do at the end with semicolon so this programming structure you need to write in xilinx then you have to open the xilinx So then, ah, uh, we this is the Xilinx platform. I uh, you know how to start. Go to file, create a new project. We had to create a new project, whatever you want. As I create Maya one, and I had to select uh, HDL. Ah, uh, wait a minute. I will exit. I will start again. File, new project. Maya Okay, let me start the Xilinx platform. See, we have an icon with the Xilinx uh, version of 9.2. I double click on this. Press OK. Then go to File. If any file is already open, ah, uh, then you have to give Close Project. So now it is clear. Click on File. click on new project and give the project name whatever you want uh, where you want to store that location give the location see now i have a hdl hardware description language click next see this is already setting and uh, last class we need to set all those uh, variables and after setting once you no need to set for any value for that one click on next go to new source i uh, use the verilog module and click the name of the file you can give any anything and one i am providing the name of the file and uh, no need to give the dot v extension whenever i am choosing a verilog module uh, by default it will be save as a dot v extension click next and uh, i already told if you know the input and output port you can define it otherwise don't worry about that one just click on this input next the next we will finish then you have to give yes then click on next 
click on next finish see once everything is done and uh, you don't bother about this uh, this is what we are providing which date i am creating what is the name of the module name project name all those things uh, if you don't want all those things you can also uh, select it and you can delete it so it's not required and time scale 1s and ps uh, nanosecond and picoseconds uh, i will tell you in the theory part when i will explaining for that one so now it is not required if you remove that also our program is working fine so let me go the module is the keyword followed by the and one is the name of the program so within bracket we provide a input output port a is my input b is also input and provide a y as an output so then we have to give uh, input is a keyword the followed by a again output this b then i need to write a code i have to use assign uh, 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 sorry i have to give input a and b and this output is what y then assign y is equal to then a is an input and b is an output Okay, so I have only one line of code because a simple sim gate I have to realizing. Then I return uh, space is not a matter. Once you type the program, you save the file. After saving, I told in the sources there are three varieties. Uh, we are in still synthesis model. Then you have to go to implementation design. Click on this plus. So we'll get this. Right click on the implementation design. Click run button. If the errors are there, then it will display the error. Otherwise, CPLD reports are generated. Okay, the file is completed successfully. Then I have to change my source. Move on to the behavioral simulation. When I move to behavioral simulation, uh, I will get a in the under process model sim simulator will be created. Click on that. So you have to double click on the simulation. I have to run the process simulation. Double click on that. So then the executable waveform uh, window will be open. To minimize this, maximize the window form. See, I'm getting this. See, before I have to give providing for the input, I have to restart my switch. See, have a uh, upper arrow with a restart button. Click on that. See, it will restart all the value. See, now I get an empty. Then I have to need to provide the input for A and B. We need to check the output of AND gate. Oh, click on this force. We have to provide the input is zero. OK. And B is also force. Provide the input is zero. OK. Then we have to run the button. See, we have a run button. See, we have click on that run button. See, A is also zero. B is also zero. Then output will get it. Zero. So then change the value of A. A need to be zero, and B has to be changed to one. Okay. Then run. So zero and one. I am getting a output is again zero. Again A is has to be replacing with one. See, it's not a matter of the orderly. We have to provide. You can give any order. Whatever you are providing the order according to that, you will get it. I am providing one and zero is my input. Then output is zero only. See, this is one and this is zero. Then I have to provide both are one one. This already a is one, or you can set a is one, b is one. Then click on OK. Then run. See now A is also one, B is also one, then output is also one. So this is uh, we are verifying the truth table of AND gate using Xilinx. The name of the uh, programming is Verilog program. So this is the program we written. So we will get this uh, AND uh, underscore one dot V. So we will get the program module file name, uh, input output ports. I'm defining input port. Output port is Y. I'm writing the code. Uh, I'm using data flow modeling end model. So the coming video, we will tell you the same program, how to write by using behavioral model as well as the structural model. Thank you.